The rhinopius is just a cool fish, and this one was showing off for the camera. We feed it with our seahorses, we feed it with our uh, um, flounder, um, any of our tropical reef fish, uh, our live re uh, coral reefs, we, we do it for a variety of reasons. Our quarantine especially, um, we know it's healthy, we know it's safe for the animals, so it's a good transition. If they do come in feeding live, we can get them over to PE mysis. Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast. Once again, I've got my foster puppy Oscar here with me. Oscar likes to be on camera, don't you, Oscar? Yes, yes, it's a good boy, just bite the microphone. As you know, I travel quite a bit between Carl and Aquarium Systems and FinCasters, and I get to see a lot of fish that maybe I've never had in my aquarium. That some fish that I'd like to have someday, but so far I just haven't had the chance. And one of those is called the Rhinopius. I recently saw this display, and this fish was just showing off for the camera, more active than you typically see see with this fish so I had to take some video. So let me just tell you a little bit more about the Rhinopius while you enjoy the pictures. The Rhinopius is part of a family of scorpion fishes such as the lionfish. The genus has only five species and like their cousins they do have venomous spines. Online accounts of stings typically detail trips to the hospital so please be careful if you decide to keep one. Now the fish, which is available in the hobby in a variety of colors, from red to yellow to purple and other colors, depends upon its camouflage to hide from smaller fishes, which it typically ambushes when they come too close. Now word has it that it will eat fish that's nearly its own size, so while this fish is reef safe, it should not be kept with smaller fishes or ornamental shrimp. Likewise, more aggressive feeders, such as groupers, may make it difficult to get the food down to the rhinopius, which spends about 90% of its time on the bottom of the aquarium, where it hops along on its ventral or pelvic fins. These fish hail from the uh, Indo-Pacific, and they are seldom seen in pet stores, and when you do see them, they're expensive. Plan to, plan to pay at least $250 and more if it's a really pretty one. And finally, there's debate about tank size. Some argue for a 100 gallon tank, while many suggest keeping one by itself in a 20 to 30 gallon species only aquarium. Now the rhinopius grows to about eight inches and the internet is full of people talking about how much they enjoyed keeping this fish. And I will put some links to several of those articles in the description of this FinCast. So there's a look at the rhinopius. It's not a candidate for every marine aquarium, but it will certainly have your friends talking if you have one. Thanks for watching this FinCast. Remember, there's a whole series of FinCasts on marine topics, so please click the box if you'd like to see those. There is a new FinCast every Sunday, so hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next FinCast. Say goodbye, Oscar. Say goodbye. Okay, bye.